Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, last time we tinkered around with uh, oil and almost everything that comes out of oil uh, with the effect that we do have quite a, a stable production of, of science packs, especially space science. Um, all the others, um, that's more a question of uh, how much do we have stockpiled. But as you can see, we are at uh, 160. Uh, I, I think that's, that's where it tops off. So if we want to produce more and then also do more research, uh, we probably should add a third rocket uh, factory. Uh, speaking of research, um, we are done with everything that we set out. And at this point, I think not all of the infinity research is equally useful to us so i think mainly uh, the mining productivity to get more out of uh, ore fields um, robot speed could be nice um, and i think also the uh, the energy weapon uh, that's something that we can focus on because we do have a bit of uh, uh, defense going on but then here the artillery if you look at how many signs we we need for those that's that's just incredible so let's queue up a whole bunch of productivity and that brings us to 27k or 25k uh, for the for the last one there. So should be a while uh, until we have sorted this up. And then I have been thinking, where do we want to place this this next rocket sauna? And I concluded it will go here. Um, nice next to the to the other one other options would be somewhere here on the on the outside um, where we do not yet already have filled in uh, all the all the railing uh, but mm, probably we will need more in the future and I have been busy and created um, these uh, blueprints so we can easily uh, just plop them down it also helps um, with uh, figuring out uh, how much material we need um, so if we look at this this is three and a half thousand yellow belts thousand eight hundred red belts um probably not so much uh, rails because we have already uh, a few rails placed in but um more than 350 um uh, modules um, that, that we have to place so it will take me a while to to get all this this sorted and uh, i would imagine that at the point where we have this additional factory up and running we will have some dire shortcomings somewhere and if i would make a prediction at this point I would guess it's something to do with oil, but we will see at the tail end of this build. 
the build is complete, but we can see there are quite a few belts that are empty. And that's because we are missing iron ore and also the petroleum. Uh, and on a side note, we are a tiny bit short on power. So probably it's time for another reactor. So looking at uh, this here, I see that most trains are standing at the delivery station. So maybe we could do and add another train for petroleum. Um, I'll copy this one and it has a station for loading so that's good and here on the iron ore side we have 23 delivery station we only have uh, 11 11 trains doing the delivery so i think another train here as well and then let's find an iron ore train that i can copy this one will do and this one also has a train um what I want to change, however, is on this coal delivery station, just one train. Because otherwise we get into the situation where uh, uh, the second train is coming in here, then we unload the first train and then disable the station and uh, bad things start to happen. Here we should see also a train coming and it will take a while until all the materials are trickling through this, this spiral. But uh, we should then see an increase in production for the uh, um, for the uh, space science that's what we are producing here but before we we really can progress any further uh, I really have to, to figure out that situation uh, with the uh, power plant and I am thinking we will copy this or can we make a blueprint? Let's make a blueprint of this. Uh, include also the tiles and then remove that part. That's from the other reactor. We don't want that part in our blueprint. Yes. And then we name this what core symmetric nuclear reactor and maybe here use this and a four nice 
and then hopefully I can place that down there in the water. Uh, probably need a bit of landfill. Landfill should be in my car, which is also somewhere around here. So I will place down that additional reactor and then we can see uh, once we have the power where we stand with our research um, and so on. Two science production facilities up and running out of three is good but not good enough and if we have a look at oh, what the problem is with this one uh, we can see we are lacking quite a few belts and it's mainly due to lack of of copper so if we have a look here uh, one uh, station train is coming one has not enough material here same story and then up here uh, also the stations don't have enough ore um, to load more so I think now it's time to hook this one up so we can have more copper ore in our system by now the three rocket silo factories have evened out and we are producing more or less evenly we can see here we just had a rocket uh, here as well and where's the sort on over here uh, there uh, we are waiting for a satellite and at this point the speed of the rocket that we launch is hemmed by the speed in which we can craft the satellites and looking at this uh, this is mainly due to lack of blue circuits if we look closely here not all our assemblers are working because there are not enough uh, uh, green circuits um, and here we have a, a similar similar picture uh, not all of them are working because they do not get enough uh, copper wires um, but looking at this point here um, it's not really uh, that the copper wires are backing up we probably could do with uh, with more inserts there but i think overall this this is pretty good balanced and if we have a look at uh, where we stand for our various uh, science packs um, we can see that we are at over 230 uh, consumption uh, not production that that's production on this side and over on this side we have 150 so we are um, consuming less science uh, than we produce this uh, was already true for most of them but now it's also true for the science the space science so probably the next thing is speeding up the research and speaking of that we are almost through our mining productivity and when we reached uh, level 10 that meant we had a hundred percent bonus of uh, on the mining so if we go to a mining field should have somewhere and 
there we can we could see that for every ore that we actually mine we get an additional one and this just goes up with uh, with more productivity and i think um next i will do the same for uh, uh, laser uh, damage and then uh, work robot speed and robot speed i think after uh, um, a, a whole what is this seven um researches on on that we're good on the on the speed and then we can focus on productivity and and laser damage because i have been walking around a bit clearing out more area and out here the alien nests are getting a bit big uh, so that occasionally I resorted to nukes um, and here we can see there is a hole in the ground there as well so the, the nests are getting pretty big so I think we will uh, firstly add uh, a bit to uh, the research so that we can do more research I don't think adding um, modules speed modules there uh, is that great because uh, the whole setup is uh, basically limited by the speed of the inserters um, that can pass through the, the materials and we can already see this this is kind of a, of a problem because what we want to avoid is that we have a load of uh, of labs uh, but uh, only half of them are doing research because the other ones are lacking so what I'm thinking is we will add another row here below that's another 21 labs that I have to craft and then we extend that to here and then the next thing it's probably more oil because uh, here we can see these stations uh, would request oil but they don't have any oil uh, sitting there and maybe part of the of the problem here is that oil fields are pretty far out so when a train leaves here decides to go over there the train is on the way for quite a while uh, and this time we don't have any production so maybe here it's a bit difficult but maybe here we could squeeze in a bit of a, of a waiting bay for the crude oil as well um, so we could always have trains waiting here and only if uh, this is actually uh, full uh, not have any more trains coming in and then we probably should hook up more oil fields we have one here that's at uh, uh, 6400 four, 6, percent we have one here for six we have one here for four we have one here at twelve thousand so um i think maybe let's let's go a bit in in this direction uh that's probably the the closest that that we have well 
this one would be closer but we would have to go around this uh, all this this lake and then we probably also have to be a bit careful uh, with our power we do have our cozy little oil outpost up here and it's pumping out oil at a nice rate uh, you can see uh, faster than we actually need and needing uh, speaking of that I added a waiting bay for this refinery uh, not so much for this one because um, no space and of course this was the first one and we for all the fluids that we can produce here we do have secondary station we have more than one for petroleum gas we have one for uh, sulfuric acid we have another one for lubricant and we have another one for the light oil so it's not that detrimental if we are lacking a bit behind with production in in this facility and let's have a look at our science production you can see we had a dip here that's due to lack of space science but with the la latest uh, addition we are consuming more than 200 science packs per minute um, that's roughly three per second three and a half um, and we are really bottlenecked by the production of of space science so if we want to ramp up our research we need more rocket facilities so you know what what that means we put down another one of uh, of these beauties here um and then probably we also want to consider adding another power plant uh, although currently we we are good but you can see uh, our beacons those are what consumes the most power um, and then almost halfway behind it are the assembling machines um, and then the uh, electric furnaces so until next time i will gather some materials so we can build up uh, this silo as fast as possible and also select a spot where to put it all right then hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time goodbye